Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. In fact, I am in western Washington in a little town called Belfair. Uh, <laughs> if you've been here as long as I have, like 33 years, uh, you call it Hickville, but it's growing. It's growing almost too big for us to like since we've lived here so long. Anyways, welcome to my channel. This is paper pumpkin time, everybody. And if you don't know what paper pumpkin is, it is a kit of craft supplies. That is a monthly kit, something new, something creative. They don't show you everything that's in the kit. They show you uh, a little flyer of what might be in the kit. And um, I'll show you one for next month's. Anyways, it's about $25 a month, and I think that is close to with shipping. Um, I would, I'm definitely going to have to uh, check on that. But the good thing with Paper Pumpkin, it is from Stamping Up, as I'm a Stampin' Up demonstrator, um, is that you get, oh, you get an ink spot, you get freebies, you get so much stuff to create with, and it makes you step outside of your comfort zone. It does me. And I've been crafting for a very long time. I absolutely love the challenge. It challenges me. It's creative. But for those who are new to paper crafting, they have such great instructions. And you can make the kits just as they are. Plus, there's a QR scanner on the back of the um, instruction flyer. In fact, okay, let's just get into it. This is All the Little Things is the name of the stamp set. It's a set of three note cards for today. So let me show you what I mean. This was today's freebie. It was this little organizer for the little spots. Every um, kit comes with its own little spot this month with shaded spruce. It's a great way if you don't want to get the, the big ink pads. This is an older one. These are the current ink pad sizes. If you don't want to get some of these, um, this is a great way to not to get stamp sets, to get spots and just bling because uh, I never use it as it is anyways. So let me show you. This is one of the kit boxes that um, I decided to put my little organizer in because I'm going to decorate this and I like the look of this. So I'm going to keep this for spots. And look at here, let's see. Look at this. So shaded spruce is going to go right up here by the other one. Um, I had so many of these, I started giving them away. And now I was like, oh, why did I do that? Look at this cute little box. But I, I have no worries. I'll fill this thing up in no time. I wish they would uh, give us more of these little goodies. Because um, I would have a box for each color collection. So that is how I am storing my little spots right now. And I'm going to decorate this box and I'm going to show it to you in my paper pumpkin review. So I'm going to set this down below my desk. I told you that every month you get a sneak peek. This is our little flyer. Um, it looks like we'll be having um, maybe something, an add-on with this one. And I just, this says in colors coming soon. So I'm thinking... We're going to get one of the ink colors with this kit. This is so up my alley. It just is. It says lace up your hiking boots because it's time to get outside and explore nature. Just love it. So that is that. Where is my paper pumpkin flyer? Not flyer. The instruction sheets. So this is the instruction sheet that comes with paper pumpkin. It shows you all three projects. This made nine cards this box of goodies and these are the beautiful instructions on how to um, put those cards together and then I told you about that QR scanner um, right here it gives you alternative projects so if you are new to paper pumpkin and you're a little like mm, wondering if you should do this oh get it honey try it you can always cancel I personally I purchased my paper pumpkin kits in three, six months, and nine month lots. You can do that too. And there have been kits, now I'm telling you, in the whole year, sometimes they have a kit and I know I'm not going to like it. And I call them up and I said, okay, I don't want this kit, so don't send me this kit. 
and they have oh no problem they're like just let us know if you're going to do the next month's kit and so i do and it's wonderful i i just can't explain to you enough if you do not know polymer stamps which these kit stamps are all polymer it means that they're clear you can see through them okay you can see through the block with your kit with your first kit paper pumpkin kit you get a block now I have a girlfriend who's very smart she super glued two of these blocks together and that really made nice because it was super glue was clear I'm gonna have to do that myself but um let's see where did that one go not sure okay polymer step stamps don't have the cushioning the foam that the red rubber stamps do so you need a little cushioning to make it stamp better stampin up sells a stamp in pierce mat which i have i also have a piece of craft foam because sometimes i lose my stamp in pierce mat but if you don't have any of those um your catalog will work but this chipboard that comes in the kit this is good stuff, people. Don't throw that away. Okay, so just a little bit of hits. Now, for this card, I have no samples. This is going to be a one and done, and it's kind of a play. This is going to be a long video, um, just because um, I did some prep work, but not all the prep work. So we, like I said, we're doing a set of three note cards. So I have a petal pink card base, a shaded spruce card base and a poppy parade now i got those colors from the back of our flyer here our instruction flyer as i call it the coordinating colors are balmy blue blue balmy blue basic black calypso coral granny apple green petal pink poppy parade and shaded spruce those last three are the colors i chose for my card base and my card base is seven by five and I scored it at three and a half and that is going to fit nicely into an envelope that is like five and one eighth by three and five eighths a note card size this is a mailable size I have done some prep work on some of them just to help us along um, this one we're going to cut down so the next thing I did is it came with these three pieces and I cut this down to three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And we are going to do that together right now. I have two of them already glued onto their coordinating card bases. All three are going to be the same layout, just different colors. This is, of course, an idea in my head. So I need to move. I put the stamp colors I'm going to be using. Balmy blue, petal pink, shaded spruce, and poppy parade you already saw a little sneak peek of that one so let's cut this together so this is already at three and a half i'm going to take and it's already at three and a half by four and three quarters it just needs i think a little shave there so next i'm going to turn it this way and i want it to be at three and a quarter so i'm going to take an eighth of an inch off of that end you don't have to do it like this you could just take that quarter of an inch off altogether but i'm trying to keep the pattern on the inside relatively the same so it's just taking off that eighth of an inch and now this is going to get glued we're going to glue this one onto our poppy parade so let's get this done and we're going to stick the whiter part of this element, this piece of cardstock, at the top, just like I did with the shaded spruce and petal pink. Okay, what else are we going to use from the kit? Glad you asked. They have these three peonies. We're going to cut that apart and have one for each card. We are going to cut this up and have a piece for all three cards. That's why this is a one and done because um, I, I want to do other things with my pieces. I like showing you guys different ways to think outside of the box. And I'm thinking that I can use actually every one of the stamp sets in this kit on these three cards. So I'm going to show you the envelopes. The envelopes are all done the same 
except for the gar the shaded spruce one. So I let me get that one out and we'll just stamp that one. So here we go. So this is going to be, I'm going to use this to show you you can. This is my envelope. You can see I already got all these little dots everywhere from my balmy blue. We're using this speckled dotted something or other image. So I'm going to put my balmy blue way over here so it doesn't get next to my cardstock. Uh, let's move these out of the way too. Just so this lays nice and flat. But this is, once again, our envelope for our shaded spruce card. So I'm going to stamp off completely. Oops, that did not work well. Stamp off completely. And you see where it's got this dip in it? That is what's going to go in the corner. And that's going to be for our flower. So I'm going to stamp, stamp off, and right there. Now for this one, the other ones, I used this four leaf petal, but for this one, oh, we need that balmy blue. Where is my gar shaded spruce? For this one, we are gonna use this branchy image. I'm gonna set that aside because we're gonna need it. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like right here. This is the one we're gonna use and we're gonna go full strength. I'm going to come in here and stamp that right on top of our balmy blue. And it's because I don't think the petal needs to be green. So I had to, to bring in the green. So this is for our shaded spruce card. Now for the inside, everything's going to be the same except for the, instead of doing this little flower, which is right here, we are going to use that greenery. So block 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 so here we go we're stamping off and I'm gonna come in here now I'm gonna rotate the stamp each time I stamp so here I'm gonna turn it again stamp off there and last time I rotated it and it's gonna be right here so next we're bringing in our shaded spruce. Now what I'm going to do is I don't want this big hold branch there. I'm just going to give it a little kiss and a little bit here in the center. Oh, so darn pretty. And a little bit here. And that will do it for that one. And I'm going to show you. Let me move all that mess away. So this is what it was like in the poppy parade except with the petal, this is with the other flower. I want to show you a variation. I wanted to use just about every stamp set in this kit because I love them all. Um, I think we are all done with balmy blue. I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm going to close that up just to be safe. Now we can glue all of our inside pieces to the insides of our card bases. So this, oh, let me, that's my glue dot. I'm going to put all of my envelopes together. So that's our poppy parade, our petal pink, and there's our petal pink inside. And this is our petal pink note card. So I'm going to pop those together, pop them there so we don't lose them. And then we are going to glue all of our pieces right now on the inside of our cards. So we're going to start with our petal pink. Open her up, slide her in there. Doing this pattern the way I did it, this could be a vertical card, a portrait card, or landscape. See, it could be either or. So there's one. Next is our Poppy Parade. Gorgeous color, Poppy Parade. Was not one of my favorite reds, but after using it with some of the DSP, I have warmed to it quite nicely, actually. As you can see, I'm using it. So what I mean, I love Paper Pumpkin. It really does um, help me to expand in what I love to do. So here is our shaded spruce. I didn't mind using 
um, of my last bit of shaded spruce as I just got my order in and I got my new package of shaded spruce DSP. I mean, I was down to like enough to make this little bit. So here's our three card bases. Now let's see how we're going to cut all this up. Let's use some decent scissors. So first of all, we need to cut these petals apart. So I'm going to start here. And I don't like how big these scissors are. They cut. Yeah, that's just not going to work. All right. So they do cut nicely, but they just don't get into small spaces. So I'm cutting this flower off first. Trying to get it right to that black line. Hmm. Need to come in just a hair bit more. So I'm sorry you guys got to see me. I don't mind if you like fast forward this. Um, I don't like to do a lot of editing. editing. I just don't. So I'm going to trim it down. A little bit more of all that white. That's all of that for not as I don't like that bit of silver sticking up like it is. So we're just going to cut it off. And there's a bit too much white now around it. Let's see if I could get it a little bit closer. And yes. I don't mind a bit of fussy cutting. It, I find it very relaxing, actually. So, just a little too much stark whiteness there for trimming all these down. All right, so there's one. Next one, surgery, surgery, surgery. So this one, I am gonna come in here, start here. I'm going to go around this one. I'm going to keep this petal for the other one. And there we go. Now I've got to do some trimming. I don't want that bit of silver. I don't want that leaf or any of this right here. And let's see. I am going to gonna leave that one for alone for now until I can figure it out. Okay, this one needs some work. So we're gonna shorten this petal, this leaf actually. We're gonna cut this off. There's that. Cut this excess white off. We don't need that much on here. And it looks kind of funny when the other side doesn't have the equal amount. So then I'm going to come here and I'm going to take that little bit of silver off. So there we have that one. So now I have one for each of my cards. Not sure if those are going to stay on those, but let's take this apart. So I was thinking, I was thinking this piece here which I can already tell you, so I'm going to start right here. So if you're looking at it like this, turn it this way. One, two, and this third large petal, we are going to cut this right here. We're going to continue it up here to right about here. Cut that. And then I'm going to take this off and take this away. And we're going to cut out this little bit of white that was the corner of these. Okay. All right. So there's one piece that we need. Next, let's see what other surgery we can do. We're going to fix this piece here. 
and we're going to fix it there because we don't want those now. We don't need them. Not for what we're going to use this for. So we're going to take all of that apart. Um, we may leave. Ooh, let me see. I think so. Do we want to leave that? I think we might leave this piece. So we're going to clean up this right here, okay? Because I think we're going to use this whole piece. Leaving. Nope. Yeah, we're going to need to leave that. And this we are going to cut right there. So that's for one. And this is what we have left. So let's continue the surgery on our white pieces. Need to bring that in. Okay. So now let's lay them out. Um, I really want this one with all of that green. Let's see what I can do with this one first. Like I said, I got one chance at this. I absolutely love this. Oh, so pretty. It could go either way, actually. It's going to go at the bottom. So I know that from here to here is three and a quarter. So I'm going to bring out my guillotine because y'all know I can't cut a straight line to save my life. You would think I could after all these years, but I, I can't. So we need it. I'm going to bring the petal pink. We need it to be at four in a quarter, four and three quarters. Sorry. So there we go. It's done. It's over with. You, you can't complain about it now. So um, we could put this up on dimensionals, but I'm not going to. You could always put things on dimensionals, whether you do or not is the question. To be or not to be? I have been reading Aristotle lately and some books on how to understand his thinking. Oh my goodness. Yes! Oh, and you know what? This is going to be landscape. This is going to be perfect. So I'm going to put a sentiment right there. And my flower. That one's a little too little. So this, I think, is going to go right here. Ooh, maybe. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so that part is done. Let's move on to the next one. The next one, let's do the next largest piece we have. And I might just take that. Ooh, I do like that. Which way is this card opening, first of all? <laughs> all right, so... If we do it like so, that's not going to work. So if I do it like this, where all those straight edges are, and I bring that in, it's a little small for that. I really think that one needs to be on that one. So this piece then, oh, definitely, okay. See how this stuff works? It just does. So we're going to use those straight edges of this to our advantage. We're going to go with it. These little straight edges now, how did I have that? It went like this. So here we go. Let's line them up on the edge. Yes. Okay, that's number two. And this one... Let me see if I go like this. Oh, if I go like that, the sentiment will go there. This one I know is going this way, and I believe this one will be probably this down here as I'm going to have a sentiment there. So now I need to work on this large one. And we have this piece, which if we make it come from up here... Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Or we could do it, oh, in the center of the card and have this down here. Yes, that, that works. We could bring that up a bit. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, so this is where I want it. Now, if you're wondering, 
I am going to put hmm, a little mark right here where I want this leaf. I want to set it right on top of there just so I know that I've got it where I was looking at it. And no one's going to see it because it's going to sit right on top of it. Okay, and I'm not worried about this because that's where we're going to pop our flower. Look at that, guys. So we got it. Now, question is, is do I go simple? I want to stamp one of these. Hmm. Let's see. I'm grateful for all the little things you do. That will be beautiful. And we're going to stamp directly onto the um, cardstock. I need that shaded spruce. This one is going to be the shaded spruce. What other sentiments do we have? With deepest sympathy. And this one is enjoy your day. And where's the other one? Celebrate today. That's going to go. I think we'll do celebrate today. Enjoy your day. Um, we're going to put on the inside of that one. And then I think I have successfully used every stamp set. So shaded spruce. So we, I'm going to bring it, hopefully you guys can see this. I am grateful for all the little things you do. And I don't think this is going to be that long of a video. So that one, move shaded spruce along. Mm, we could actually, yeah, we're going to add a little bit of detail here. Scooch you aside. We don't even need that. We just need some scratch paper. All right. So because this is already, we're going to add a little bit of this detail in here. So I'm going to stamp off two times, okay? Because I just want to bring in a little, and it is so faint. You guys may not be able to see it, but I do. We just stamped a tiny bit there. I'm gonna stamp this here. And it is ever, ever so slight. Let me see, I wanna stamp it off a little again and then right there. And you'll see it more here on the darker part. But oh, so pretty, pretty, pretty. So. I do think this one needs a little bit of a backing of something. Oh, and what it needs just a little, it needs more surgery is what it really needs. This granny apple green piece here, that, that section has got to go. You are not welcome on that piece. And now it looks even better and we're going to take this little leaf off too because it just is not working for the card oh now now it fits now it fits and now i want to add um i came with where is that string the baker's twine that this kit came with i had it i had it i had it and i thought oh i should leave this out and I thought I had it. I thought I did. <laughs> Let's see if I put it back in the box. Let's see. I left some pieces out. Where's the baker's twine? No, no, no. And it's got, sh no, it's got black in it. But it's got Calypso Coral. All right. Anybody see my little package of baker's twine? I guess we're going to have to go without it because I can't, I, I don't like when this happens. Here's my little baggie, but there is a second little baggie that has the Becca's twine. Okay, it, it's just going to go without it. I can work with that. I will make it work. Um, that's Blushing Bride. What do I have? I have some silver. 
we will use silver. This is from the Elegant Trim in the catalog, and I have my silver and gold separate. I think we're going to do a little bit like so. This is not something I normally would do, but I really like that. So we're going to cut this off. And then I will roughly give you guys the measurement for it. Oh, we don't want to use those good scissors. So it's almost like a bow. So it is, oh, we'll just measure, right? And I'll try to do it again, though I really liked where it was. This was 10 and a half inches. So I'm just taking it in my fingers, trying to get it roughly even. And now that I got it there, Let's put a dimensional and stick it right where we want this. You guys get to see my creative mess. I know. Do I want it? I want it like so. So it's basically a bow without the knot. And the dimensional is what's holding it all there. And then this, let me see which way I want those. I want it to go right there. Okay, this one is a little long. And this one is a little long. And then I'm going to add another wee little dimensional right here where it's popped up kind of funny. And I like to use my pokey tool. If you are interested in ordering one, I will give you Miss Gloria Wolf's information. Actually, I can do that right now for a second. She makes these. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Now, for me, this the rhinestones that came with this kit, the bling, were the iridescent basic jewels. But for me, this needs a little more. What did I just do with my bling box? I want some of the, these I just ordered another package of. So, we're going to use three of these. I'm going to put one here. It just, that sparkly silver sparkle of these you cannot beat. And I do save them for when I actually do a video so you can see just how sparkly these are. And then we're going to put this one, I think, right I'm just debating one, two, we could do three. We're going to do right there. I thought about putting it there, but no. Okay, so that is, oh. So beautiful. That is our first note card. I'm going to set that one aside and let's get on to our poppy parade, which is this one. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to close up shaded spruce <laughs> before it like gets knocked off in it and it does damage. Somewhere. So let's go ahead and bring back the balmy blue. We're going to repeat what we just did. So we're going to stamp off really well. We're going to go first generation. Last time we did first and second. This one I want you to see more of it. Okay. I'm going to put some there. Stamp off again. And I don't want to do it this way, but I could do it uh, here. Oh, really, really like that. I'm not going to close that up because next is our next card. So let's see with this one is with deepest sympathy. Oh, and that is going to really shine with that poppy in proper parade. Really, really nice. Beautiful colors. All right. Closing up that poppy parade. It would be devastating if that fell on here. So this one, I could put that 
there, but I want to cover up that entire leaf. And do I want to go add some silver to this one as well, like we did before? This time I'm going to do this loopity loop thing. You guys, people call it like a bird's nest, but I only want to do two loops here. And I'm going to do one loop there and I'm going to do a little cheat. Besides making this. All right. So here is my loop together. Let me grab, let's grab a bit of score tape as my other score tape falls down. I just went a little bit. Scotch tape would work too, but we're going to be, all right. So we want them to be offset. Ah, I know there's an easier way than this, but sometimes I just don't know how to do things the easy way. So this is going to go here, showing you how I place it. So this then is going to go right there. That's what I want. Now I'm going to do another little loop, a single one, just about three inches, pull this together, and this is going to get a dimensional. I don't need anything to hold it together. This is going to get a dimensional too, actually. I'm going to move that up a bit. I'm going to put a dimensional right there. It's going to hold it well. And let's grab another one for this set of little loops. And then we'll put some on our flower. So that is sitting like so in this little nook. This one, we're not going to have a lot to show for this one. Or do we want to go it? Oh, right there is perfect. I'm going to take that away, pop my loopity stuff down. Pop the backings off of both of these. Stay down there for me. And ooh, so pretty. So now I need one over here. There's one. Just making sure I don't put them in the same place. One there. One's here, one's there. And I can tuck another one in when I get it done. Oh, so, so pretty. I want one. A little, I just need a little bit of one right here on the edge. Get the backing off, hopefully. Okay, so there's card number two. This one deserves some of the rhinestone bling too, and I'm going to keep it, I guess. All of them are going to end up with the silver. So we want to add one here do that little triangle thing everybody talks about one there and one two and three that one says right here that's where i'm going so there's number two all done hopefully you guys are still with me and don't mind this being a bit long as we are doing three projects last one everybody so you guessed it, we're going to bring back our, we're going to do enjoy your day. This one to me would seem like it is a birthday. And our peony this time, I wonder if we go like so. We could go right there. Ooh, okay, yes, different, 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 and we need the petal pink. There we go. We're going to stamp this in petal pink after, after, after. We need to add some of that. Um, where's my, and I need scratch. So here we go. We're going to add it a little darker. So we're going to add some, as far as we're not stamping off twice, we want this to be seen. I grew up where we were to be seen and not heard, I tell people. That is not what I wish for any child. So let's see. We're going to bring this into the 
side because I don't want it to get on my petal pink. And what part of it I want. I don't want that part. Just figuring out what image of the stamp. Okay. Oh, so nice. So nice. And do I want a little bit up there? I do. I want a little bit of it. Right. Get that way up close to it. So Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. And the flower is going to cover everything else. So this is going to be another. Um, see, our flower is going to come in like so. This is going to be our petal pink. Enjoy your day right there. Beautiful. Yes, I'm so happy with these cards. Yeah, we're going to need some more loopity loop stuff. So... Let's see. You know what? We could do a bow. We're going to do a bow. And I'm not even going to get my bow maker out. Though, <laughs> as I say that, it's like, what's running through my head? No, it's simple. Just get the bow maker, right? Just grab the bow maker. And make yourself. Because I don't want a big bow. I want a little bow. And this makes the nicest, tiniest little bows. My wonderful hubby made this for me. So there is my nice, tiny, little bow. And I can trim my ends. I'm going to set that whole thing aside down here for a moment. There's my little bow. I'm going to need a glue dot. And I need dimensionals. I ordered some of these. I got these in. No problem. So we want this here. We want our little bow. Ooh, so cute. Right there like it was meant to be. So there's one and there's one that should do it just fine. And then we'll get a look at them all together. All right. And y'all thought I had a little sheet with the blue dots. We'll grab some out of here. If it doesn't want to play nicely, I will find you later. So I'm going to grab this out of the paper pumpkin kit. I know I want it right here. Pop my backing off. Oh, yes. And of course, it needs its little jewels too. Which, uh, they're under the other dimensionals. So, jewels, 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 jewels. So we're definitely going to put one there. Have one here. And these are so perfect for this. And one down here. Oh my goodness. Yes, I am like ecstatic. Okay, got a mess and a half to clean up, but I always do after I create. And look at there. There's those little guys. So <laughs> there's my two dips. Let's bring these in. Um, as I've moved my camera again, around again, I can take this off of my glass mat. As it's not doing what it was intended to. And let's get a look at our three cards. So we have our shaded spruce. Beautiful little card. Blank on the inside. So we have two landscape, one portrait, and our coordinating envelopes, our petal pink, which is here. I'm gonna open this one up. I'm gonna stick this one that way. And this is our shaded spruce. So beautiful cards. I absolutely love it that I really well, I used all three of those pieces. This was one piece that we cut up to make three. This was one element also from the card that we cut up and we got three cards out of it. Absolutely fabulous. Thank you. Thank you, Stamping Up, for, for this wonderful, wonderful uh, kit. I, I absolutely love it. 
I hope you like it as well. If you did, I would love to know what you think of this project. I do apologize for it being long, so I'm not going to say anything else except please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye now.